everyone and welcome to this week's More Than Grammar video. Let's start with some deep breaths. So if we breathe in, out, in, out. Today I want to give you the idea that, well, I think it's more than an idea, I think it is true. I want to tell you that you are more than your fears. You are more than your fears. What do I mean by this? I mean, for example, you are in a group of friends and you are speaking another language and you want to share something. You want to um, add to the conversation and suddenly a little voice here says you can't do that no you you will make a mistake or for example you need to give a presentation and you choose not to because you believe that you will make lots of mistakes, it will be embarrassing. Or you are taking an exam and there's this little voice that says, you will fail, you will fail. No, you can't do this. These are all fears. This is a fear that uh, we will fail, we will make a mistake, we will look stupid. These are all fears. And I want to tell you that you are more than them. And that actually, if we choose to think differently about them, they will not be important to you anymore. So what does that mean? What can we do is the next thing. So you know the theory, these are just fears. These are just fears. That's the idea. That's the truth. And We make the fears true when we do what they tell us to do. So if, for example, um, we have this idea, I can't speak in a group because I sound stupid. We have this idea and so we don't say anything. And then when we do say something, because we have repeated again and again, I will sound stupid, I will sound stupid. Then when you say something, all you hear is stupid. So already you are um, practicing this, this idea. You're practicing this idea when you follow it and when you do what it says. I would say that this little voice, it's not helpful to learning because this little voice um, stops us from trying, it stops us from practicing and the idea of, of 
speaking another language is that you practice it. it of course you won't understand everything in the first lesson or in the first month. You need to practice it. And we can only practice it when we tell this voice to look somewhere else and to focus on what we want and how we can do it. So the practice is when you are in a situation and you hear this voice, because you will, after this video, you will hear it, you will see it. And that's so powerful. That's 100% what you need to do is see it. Because then you can decide, do I like this thought or not? And then you can decide if you want to have a different thought. And that is something that you can decide for you. You write your thoughts, not me. You do it. I will say though, if you need help writing these thoughts or if you really, really believe these stories, if you really, really believe them and you need someone to just pull you out of this, you can do many things. You can speak to a teacher, you can speak to a friend, you can send me an email and we can work together because you don't need these thoughts. You really don't. You are so much more than them. And just think, you know, if you didn't have these thoughts, what would happen? What amazing things would happen? You have these ideas in your head and it is only this little voice that stops you and this little voice it's like this much of you you are this this little voice is is here and it wants you to stay here and i think you want to grow so awareness and think differently all you need to know Thank you, and I'll see you next week. Bye.